Now we speak to the CEO of the Black Business Council, Hanki Matabane. Uh, Mr. Matabane, thank you so much for your time. Now, of course, uh, uh, this uh, you know development of the death of uh, Eustace um, by suicide has come as a particular surprise, uh, especially given the latest development in as far as law, uh, you know, law enforcement authorities closing in on him. He was, of course, going to be arrested and then appear in court. What do you make of this? Um, you know, as the business council. <coughs> uh, good afternoon, and thank you very much, Unati, for inviting us. And good afternoon to the viewers as well of SAPC News. Uh, firstly, we would like to say condolences to, to his family. Uh, and, and secondly, it's, it's very unfortunate that uh, he chose to, to end it this way uh, because a, a the country and maybe in Germany will never get to the bottom of this corruption matter and uh, corruption scandal, scandal that we, we, we have. Uh, and there's no prospects that the, the pension fund money that we were lost will, will be recovered. Uh, but, but also the way the matter was handled uh, from 2017 uh, when it happened, it, it also still perpetuates a, the suspicion that uh, when you have money, when you are rich and powerful, and when you are a certain skin color, skin color the, the law enforcement agencies, they, they treat you uh, very, very carefully with uh, kids' love and also the, the process to make you to account, it, it moves well very, 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 very slowly. Because if you contrast this uh, with VPS, and, and I, I've got no interest in VPS, I'm not condoning what happened in, in VPS, but the, the story of VPS happened in 2018. Uh, Stein of scandal happened in 2017. But the, uh, from a South African point of view, there have not been people from Stein of who were held accountable. Uh, at least we've seen people for, from VPS being uh, taken to court and all those type of things. And, and even accounting bodies, for example, where they might <coughs> The CEO of Stano, former CEO of Stano was beginning to, was moving very, very, very slow compared to how they moved fast to the Chatham accountants who were running a, a BBS. So uh, as a country, we need to be very, very, very careful uh, that we, we were not seen to be discriminating in terms of class. Uh, uh, because if you look at Germany, Germany moved even faster than South Africa. Uh, and I think South Africa was affected more than Germany. But they, 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 we sort of started seeing things moving in South Africa after the Germans have, have, have started acting. So it's important that we, uh, as a country, we need to try uh, by all means uh, to show that uh, uh, we're all equal be before the law, especially with the, the history that we're, ha we're having uh, now this year, celebrating 30 years of democracy. We need to be seen to be treating people equal. And you raise a very important point there in as far as how law enforcement um, officers are seen to be treating these high profile cases. South Africa being accused and criticized, of course, of always coming you know, at the back foot of those investigations. But when we start talking about uh, Marcus Euster, and to your point in terms of, you know, which kind of people are treated, um, you know, in, in a certain way in South Africa, uh, his demise may have started to, to come through in 2017. But when we look pre, you know, 2017, we actually see, um, you know, the brazenness of this fraud case with, the, with Marcus Euster at the center of it. And we start to see the, you know, the inner workings and the machine in which this happened. One of the, the things that, of course, has come to light following, uh, you know, his death is that there is that multi-million rand uh, PWC forensic report that may shed some detail in terms of, you know, how this fraud, you know, actually happened now that he's not here to account. Uh, what do you think should happen in as far as that as uh, investigations, of course, continue? <coughs> uh, you know, it's interesting, uh, the, the, even the mainstream media has refused so far uh, to call this corruption and fraud. They are still calling it accounting irregularities. Mm. Uh, besides the fact that the pension fund, the PIC and others, they've lost billions uh, of rents. So you, you, you can see from that point of view that there's a, a different treatment 
a a a, a for Steinhoff is is basically treated very differently. Uh, if it was other people with the different skin color, it would have been called something else. Uh, it would have been it would have been called corruption even before people get got arrested. So so we we hope now that uh, the focus is on this case uh, from Germany. Uh, South Africa will also then focus on it and, and use a report such as the PWC one to to make sure that they get to the bottom of the issue, uh, so that we this type of things never happen again. Uh, we never experience in South Africa. We never experience this type of corruption, deep corruption, by 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 certain uh, sectors of our our society, especially big business, because a, a lot of pensioners have lost their money in this. Uh, and then it's important that we need to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Uh, you know, you mentioned, of course, uh, you know, the, the, the pensioners uh, losing that money. Of course, we know that the PIC had invested over 20 billion rands or so um, in as far as that is concerned. We do have development in the story in as far as, uh, you know, the former Steinhoff executive who has now appeared in court, uh, Stihan Khrobla, handed himself over to police, um, you know, today, a day after, you know, of course, Marcus Eusta uh, died by suicide. Do you think this is then the opportune time for the South African law enforcement authorities to show their metal? I mean, we don't know at this point if any of the monies will be recovered. Um, I doubt. We know, of course, uh, a number of assets uh, have been you know, seized by law enforcement authorities. But what chance do you think then the law enforcement authorities should make now uh, in as far as uh, your point in terms of this should never happen again? Yeah, this this, this uh, provides a, a good opportunity for, for the law enforcement agencies to to get to the bottom of the matter. Uh, but as I said before, I think it's unfortunate because uh, Marcus was the group CEO. Uh, he would be the one who basically knows all the the shenanigans that happened. Uh, and unfortunately, now that he's gone, uh, he he sort of decided to go with. A lot of these secrets and confidential information to the grave, uh, uh, which then one or the other may may make it very difficult for for the law enforcement agencies. But we hope, uh, because the documents are there, the books are there, the the, the investigation has been done and uh, is ongoing. Uh, we hope we st will still be able to get to the bottom of the of the issues. Uh, besides the fact that it's not there anymore.